Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and I'll take you right now through one of the games that I played today. Now, I was playing here as white and I started off with d4, opponent responds d5. I go with bishop g5, uh, preventing opponent from playing e6 straight away because then the queen hangs. So opponent tries to kick my bishop backwards by placing h6. I go on h4. And here my opponent plays a knight to c6, developing the knight, also attacking the pawn. Here I went with c3. Opponent plays a bishop to f5, uh, trying to develop the bishop, and then maybe uh, plays the knight first, and then try to play e6 eventually. I went with e3, trying to play a solid pawn structure in the center, a nice pyramid. Here opponent goes with knight, c6, uh, knight to f6, as we just discussed, that might be a plan. I went with bishop b5, pinning this knight. Here, open plays e6, which allows me to play queen to a4. Again, further pressurizing the the knight here, because the bishop cannot come back now, because as open had played e6. So uh, now to prevent any tussles there, open plays queen d7, which again, defends now a couple of piecing, pieces defending that, because two were, two were attacking it. Here I went with knight f3. Now my idea is simple to increase the pressure on this point because the queen is pinned up uh, with the bishop. I can take the queen if I am able to pressurize the point here. So that's why I went with knight to f3, preparing to go with knight to e5. And generally the best move here is to place bishop uh, onto d6, which uh, then often can definitely take my knight if I try to play it on e5. Uh, open plays a bishop to e7, which was a blunder, as I explained. Uh, here comes a knight to e5, uh, threatening to take on queen and or a piece for sure. Open saves the queen, loses the knight. Now open cannot take because of the pin and decides to move the king side steps uh, onto f8. Here I got back my knight, so I basically got an extra piece for free. Here my open plays pawn forward uh, c6. And I decided to bring my bishop backwards onto e2. Uh, there was no other good square where I can keep my bishop. Uh, yes, uh, d3 makes sense, but then I'll have to get my knight backwards after opponent takes, which I don't want to happen. My knight is in a pretty good controlling square as in the London system setup as well. So knight to e5 is always solid. Opponent plays uh, g5 there. Strange move because... Uh, doesn't make sense. You're just trying to kick my bishop backwards and it only helps my position, not the opponent's. Here I go with bishop to g3, g3 eyeing this wonderful diagonal. So I have a discovery attack on the queen next whenever I get to play. Open plays uh, b5 here, trying to attack my queen. So I thought, okay, let me just get back my queen uh, to a good position. d1 is not bad because suddenly I'm eyeing this diagonal as well with my both the pieces can probably end up exchanging as well. So it's a good place to have been. I of course didn't want to trade off the queens and queen going on uh, to uh, a6 also didn't uh, effect wasn't much effective wasn't doing much there. If I keep on the dark square open can take definitely so don't want to exchange queens. Uh, again, uh, b3 is also not a good square. Uh, c2 is already covered with the bishop, so d1 was the only obvious choice. Opponent plays king to g7, and here comes my next move. Knight takes on f7. Yes, you cannot take the knight because uh, the queen is attacked, actually twice. So queen has to move, and as soon as the queen moves, I'll be able to grab the rook as well, and then open can take, of course, but goes exchange down as well, and the opponent was already pieced down. It and so in this position uh, on move number 15, my open resigns. So uh, it only took me like 15 uh, moves to make my open resign here. Actually, I'd won the game long back when I took on the knight for free. So uh, it's a cool trick in the London which you can guys can exploit. Always try to use if your open is not careful. And the average anti pawn loss, which is the more precise move that I played here, was uh, the score is 24, which is pretty nice. Uh, no inaccuracies, no mistakes, no blunders as per stock, uh, the stockfish. So yeah, pretty good, decent game. I enjoyed it. I hope you learned that trick, how to pressurize the, uh, the, the C6 square and maybe gain advantage out of it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Please do subscribe to the channel. 
if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.